uh, Yud Beis Amid Beis. So we just started this suga where Rav Yudah was quoted as saying that um, that it, it seemed from Rav Yudah's statement where he said, Mavli Shol Nishtat for Bo, right? If it, if you didn't make a she too fame of O's yet, and you only omach she Lachi, if you throw it inside, you chayiv. Uh, but if you if you um, if you only, if you will master it with a kora, so he made a distinction between a lechi and a kora, but he made it in a way where he sounded, it sounded like the sheet of mavos was the essential difference, I mean be, between being chayiv and potter. That had you made um, if had you made a sheet of, then things would be different. Um, so to that uh, we asked the question. Let's just read it again. We did the Rashi already, but we we'll just. Oh, we're halfway through. Okay, so let's just read it. Read the Gemara again. Masko of Sheshes time don't start for Bo and start for Bo. I feel like share but Kor Nami Chayiv. What? So the Gemara thought that the 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 lack of Shituf is why you were off the hook by a Kora, right? So review the statement was: um, if you made if you mash it with a Lachi, you throw it in your Chayiv. If you if you mash it with a Kora and you throw it in your Potter, meaning you know you're not you, you didn't break the. The the chiv of go, going from shus aram to shus yachid. So it sounded like the shituf is what made the difference between le, the lechi case and the kora case. So mask of sheish is time on the shat for bo on the shat for bo feel hechshe bekora nami chayiv. What you're trying to imply that had you made a shtuf in involves then the kora case you'd be chayiv as well. The chikika zu also so shus aram or shus aravim. The chikika zu also so shus yachid or shus aravim. About six lines from the top. What this. Loaf of bread is what made a difference between Rishus Yach and Rishus Rabbim. Is that really true? Vatanya, okay, it can't be because it says Chater Shal Rabbim. If you have a, a Chater uh, where many people use that Chater, Mavosh Enim Mufulashin, or if you have a Mavi which is uh, not Mufulish, okay, it's a you know only open from one side. Ben Ivru Ben Lo Ivru Hazrog Tochen Chayiv. Your Erev does not make a difference. The fact that they're already. Uh, a chutzer, a valid chutzer, or a mavoi, which is only open for one side, whether the Erev is there or not, you throw inside your chayiv. So clearly, you don't need the Erev to make something chayiv. The, um, the, you don't need the shituf, the shtuf mavos, the idea of you know this loaf of bread that you're merging. There's absolutely no bearing on whether something is Rishos Yach or Rishos Arabim. So it really... What your statement does not make sense the way it was said. It cannot be. So we're in the middle of that big Rashi. So we're about to do Ela Itmar, but let's just catch up on that Rashi. Okay. Chater Shal Rabim, Shepsuchim Batim Harbe Lechotzer. Right? There are many houses open to the Chotzer. And the fact that we are all accessing that area makes it also for us to carry. Uh, into that chutzur, sheinu yichol motzim in a batim lechutzur. You can we, you cannot go out from a house to a chutzur if that chutzur is not privately uh, uniquely designated for me. If it's joined by other houses, that becomes unacceptable. Below erev, without some kind of merger, neishabayis rishus miyuchedes. So because the the house, Rashi is now giving us the philosophy behind this whole concept of why the rabbana didn't were not comfortable with carrying from a. House to a chutzur, the shabbais rishus miuchedes loy, right? Because the house is uniquely owned by one person. Okay, the chutzur rishus chaveri, and the chutzur the chutzur rishus chaveri Moshe Bob. Okay, but the chutzur, my friend rishus also has shlita, has uh, you know control over this area. Vimsa, and it comes out that we're I'm going from two different types of domains, one that's uniquely mine, and one that's joined with others. Vimsa motzim rishus rishus. It's it's. Clearly, it looks like I'm going from one domain to another to a different domain. Rabban Gazer Shalotzi Mishus Yach Lishus Ayachid, and the Rabbanan said you can't do that. You can't go from one Mishus to another. Zeir Dil Mosi Lafuke Mishus Yach Lishus Rab, because if I allow you to go from one Mishus to another, you might end up going from Mishus Yachid to Mishus Rab. Avol Bilchatz Mutal Tatabah, but in the Chutzur itself, if I'm not going from the house to the Chutz, I'm just carrying it within the Chutzur itself. Can I read him himself the Shabbos Paragraph Laws Zaimer Imloi Hevi Kli? Okay. Like we quoted there in Daf Kuf Lamid back in the Shabbos days. Um, anyway, yeah, the, those good old days when we're doing Gemara Shabbos. So, uh, bottom line is, so it cannot be that that this this Shtufe Mavos, which of Yehud implied, would make a difference between the law of uh, whether you chayev 
for carrying or not. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's the structure of your situation that you're dealing with, how many walls you have, but since when should a shtufi involves make a difference? Mor says, you're right. Shtufi involves does not make a difference. The loaf of bread can't, you know, determine whether or not you're high of the rice for carrying or not. So what did he mean? What was his actual statement? If you want to understand what Erbuda meant, this is what he said. This is what he meant. Amr of Yehuda, Rav Yehuda said as follows, Movi she'en a roi l'shituv, Movi which is not fit for a merger. Okay, what kind of Movi um, is not fit for a merger? One that's open from two sides. One that's open from two sides needs a lot more work than just a, a chalo. Okay, or a box of matzah. Okay, um, right, we know that you need a, a, a you need a, um, a Surah of Pesach on one side, you need a lechi on the other side, you need a lot more work. Okay, here, so therefore, Movish and Relushit, the Fichshir Belechi, okay, if you are Machshirit with a lechi, Hazarok Latocho Chayev, you throw it inside, um, once you put a lechi in, then you throw it in the Movish, you Chayev. So apparently that le- lechi did make a difference. Okay, in, in making it like a uh, like that third wall, not the shituf, right? The, it's not the challah, the matzah that makes a difference. It's the lechi that makes a difference. Yechshir b'kora has erukot tocha If you will machshir it through the kora mechanism, we know there are two mechanisms, right? So if you if you um, made it valid through a kora and you throw it inside your putter. So there is a fundamental dif- difference between b- between the way kora works and be- between the way a lechi works. Alma. What do we see from Rav Yudah's uh, Chiddush here? We see that, that Rav Yudah feels and holds that a lechi has a fundamental different, fundamentally different approach as to what it does as opposed to a korah. Okay, so Rav agrees with Rav Yehuda that a lechi actually can serve as a third wall to make it into a Shur Sayochid, thereby if you throw it in from a Shur Sarabim, you're going to be Chayiv. But Korah is, is no better than, doesn't serve anything but a Heker function, and therefore it will not be able to consider itself a wall. And as such, if you throw it from Shur Sarabim into that Mavi, you are, you are Putter, because you haven't really rectified the Mavi to make it like a Shur Hayachid. And Rav uh, states his opinion, different than Rabban, different than Yehuda, that no, they're both Mishum Heker, and neither of them have the ability to make a Mechitz. Even Lechi is only a Heker. We've had this concept floating around already before, uh, for a while, that what is the underlying philosophy of a Lechi or a Korah. So we start off with two opinions saying that they're different, and now Rav says, no, they're both the same, but they're both Heker. They both don't have the ability to create a, an actual mechitza deraisa to affect the rules of carrying. Okay, so let's take they a look at... Individually, but together they do. No, what do you mean? No, a lechi... Well, a lechi and a korah together, you said that... that well, you make it towards the Pesach. You need two yeah. lechis for that. You would need two lechis. That's a, that's a whole different bargain. That's a towards the Pesach, and that takes you into a different category. Correct. That, that, yeah, that's that's not what to do. Uh, you know, but you don't need a tzuras pesach to to rectify just you know one side of the lechi. You know, we're talking about just the classic lechi or korah concept. Let's take a look at Rashi. Shena roy l'shituf. If it's not fit for a shtuf of us as of yet, because it's more foolish, right? So that's what he. So that's his, this is where the word shituf came in. Basically, the, what, the Rav Yehuda's statement was misstated or misunderstood uh, based on the fact that he did say the word shituf, but he never meant it as the shtufim of us is what's going to cut it. It's a, a movie which is not fit for shituf yet because right now it's open from both sides and therefore it, more work needs to be done. So if you add a lechi and you throw it inside, you're going to be chayv. Why? Because lechi mishu mechitza. Because shosh mechitza deraisa. And clearly he's of the opinion that all you need is three to make a deraisa. So if your third wall is a lechi, it's enough that if you throw it in, you're going to get, you're going to be in serious uh, trouble. Hazor Klamavi, okay, that's Viter. Uh, that's Viter, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so Eisve. Um, yeah. So let's see right there. Eisve. So let me let's take the offensive here and attack. Um, let's. It looks like we're attacking Rava, but let's see. So Eisve. Yes, sir. Al Kane Omer of Yehuda. This is Rebbe Yehuda. This is the Tana. So it's a price. So we've had this price before. Um, maybe if it's in, even a Mishnah. Yes, sir. Al Kane Omer Yehuda. Even in addition, um, Rebbe Yehuda goes even further. Okay, he. No, that's. I think we skipped. We did. Yeah, Rebbe Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. Eisve, Rabbi Yaakov Bar Abba, a little test to see who's following. Okay, Eisve, Rabbi Yaakov Bar Abba, Bar Abba So there it is. Rabbi Yaakov Bar Abba asked Rava a question uh, based on a brisa. Okay, uh, against Rava. Rava's the one who said that they're both Mishum Heker. Hazarukal Mavi, if a man throws something into a Mavi from Mishum Sarabim, Yeshoy Lechi Chayiv. If it has a Lechi, you're going to be nailed for Chayiv Daraisa. Eloy Lechi doesn't have Lechi Potter. Okay, it's your putter. So, what does that show? It shows us that lechi is functioning as a, as a mechitza, because you see that the fundamental difference between being nailed and not being nailed is whether or not there's a lechi there or not. So, how could you argue? Okay, it seems like a brisa beferish backing up Rabbah and Rav Yehuda that they that a lechi functions as a mechitza. So, so uh, Rav says, nice try. It certainly does appear that way. But let me reread the brisa for you and. And, and clarify matters. This is what the Brisa means. If all it needs is a lechi, which means it's already got three sides, and now we're just trying to rectify the fourth side with a lechi. So, it's, so you've already you're already in in the game. You're already a rishus yachid before you get to the lechi. Then if you throw inside that that mavoi, which is th- surrounded by three sides already. Yechayiv, because all you need is three sides to create a Rishus Yachid. Lechi v'dover acher, but if you need a Lechi and another matter to fix the, le- the, the Mavi, because the Mavi is open from two sides, and a Lechi is only going to, uh, is only going to, uh, you know, partially close up that third side, Hazarok Atoch Potter. so by Rava reading the Bryce, he reads the Bryce of Mamish like him. Meaning that Alechi will not be able to do anything. Alechi will not uh, create a mechitza. And therefore, if you throw it into a movi mafulish with Alechi, you're not going to be chayev. Because Alechi cannot serve as a, as a wall, cannot serve as a mechitza, and cannot change it into a into a shus ha yachid. So we just went from a brisa that proves one way, but if you reread the brisa, it mamish proves it the other way, depending on how you read it. Okay, so let's take a look at Rashi. Hazarukal Mavi Al Malachi Mishum Mechitza, right? So what does the what does the Brisa say? That if you throw it into Mavi and it has a Lachi, you Chayiv. So Al Mal is clearly stating that a Lachi is the difference between Mechitza between uh, being Chayiv and not, meaning that Lachi is a Mechitza. Mar says no. Ain a Tzorch El Lachi Shenim a Foolish. If it's not require, if it does not require but a Lachi. Which is another way of saying it's not a split Mavi. It's got three sides. It's a U as opposed to so parallel lines, right? That's the mavi. It's a U. Then chayiv. The avagav the lesley lechi. Even if there is no lechi, it's not the lechi which does it. It's a question of how many legitimate walls do you have? Do you have two legitimate walls, or do you have three legitimate walls? If you have only if you have two legitimate walls. It's not enough, and you're going to be putter. The avagav the lesley lechi. Even though it has no lechi, chayiv the shalosh mechitza the rice. All the rule is three mechitzas are what you need for for Torah. Status of a Rishus Yachid. You have that here, so you're good to go. If on the other hand, you need a Lechi V'davar Acher, it's a Movim of Foolish, and so not only is it going to be rectified by a Lechi, but you need a Dover Acher, Tzur, it's a Pesach, Keturus Mofulish, right? Like we said, in order to close up a, a uh, open Movim, which is open on both sides, you need a Tzur, a Pesach on one side, and a Lechi on the other side. So there... You don't have the, the core base of Rishus Yachid. As I go talk about the Yavagav David Lachi, Yilach is not going to do anything. Yilach is not going to make the difference. It's the real wall. So, in a, in its reread form, or a re understood form, the Bryce is mamish backing up Rava that a Lachi cannot serve as a, as a wall, as opposed to the original understanding where the Bryce was mamish stating that a Lachi does serve as a Mechitza. and it is a valid 
enclosure to turn it into a Rishos HaYachid. Okay, we're up to the next one. Eisve, now we're up to uh, Rabbi Yehuda. Okay, uh, back to the Gemara. Eisve, yes, sir, okay, no, Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda says, not only did I say, this is Rabbi Yehuda the Tana, not only did I say one halacha, okay, which we're not quoting, it's about uh, being a, an, over, an overpass, with two sides, and you walk through the, the that status of an overpass, right? Every every underpass that we have by the freeways, right? What is it? It's an open area, but you got walls on two sides. You have to, you know, leave leave room for the homeless, but leave, uh, leaving leave room for you. Okay, leaving them out. What? They have to leave room for you. What do you mean? I'm homeless? No. In other words, as long as they're not obstructing your ability to... Oh, really? Okay, whatever. Yeah. But ignore, ignore the homeless. Just focus on the walls. It's hard because they're all over the place. But if you focus just, what do you have? You have two walls and you have a roof over you, right? The 101 is what's over you. So, but, and you have every, so that, Rebuto considers that area as Rosh Hashanah because between the overpass and between the two sides, you're enclosed. But then Rebuto says, I'll... I'll I'll see you and I'll raise you. Not only is that considered Rosh Hashanah, but Yisrael Cain, even more so. Uh, Do you need that roof above you? Well, we're I mean, about to learn. Here in art scroll, just has two buildings. You know, they're trying to set up. No, well, I mean, I'm just telling you what when when Rebuta said Yisrael Cain, I'm telling you what did he say first, and now he's raising you. You got two buildings, and it's basically you got two walls between two buildings. Yeah, well, again, because that case that you're looking at is not the overpass case. Right, there's We're, no roof. All right, which is why I'm just, I'm, again, I'm yeah. explaining the words, yes, sir, I'll cane. I'll see you and I'll raise you, meaning not only is this, but additionally. So when you say additionally, you started, I'm just giving you what, where did he start from that now he's adding the additionally. That's all I'm, I'm saying here. So, so additionally, not only is the overpass case consider, going to be considered Shaz Yachid, but yes, Yachid can even more so on Rebuda, Mishay Shosh Now Batim. Now you can dive into your art scroll. So um, if a man has two houses, Mishay Tzidu Shosh Rabim, one on one side of Wilshire and the other, side, the other house on the other side of Wilshire. Okay, and he wants to be able to carry from one house to the other. Do you want to close it up? No, no overpass here. This is and it, it, this is a even a bigger chiddush case. You take one of those houses and you put a lechi on one side of it and a lechi on the other side of it. Does he need to own Rishon Boulevard also? No, yeah, you can't own Rishon Boulevard. No, you don't own Rishon Rabbim. Um, right, but, so, but he's trying to make the Rosh Hashanah Yeah, I uh, believe that. This is a big Kiddush. That you can actually close off with two Lechis. You can close off. Does he have a picture there? Um, okay, so you can close off two, two, um, I mean, that's like the back two houses the from, in Rosh Hashanah Rabbim. And I mean, but the, 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 the Mishnah says it's Rosh Hashanah Rabbim. You can't, you can't play games with the Mishnah. Bishnah Tzidah Rosh Hashanah Rabbim. Okay, by definition, calling it a Rishus Rabbim means it's an open thoroughfare where people go through, but... And the people are continuing to go through. You just have your lechis. Yeah, and... correct. Okay, o selechem ikan v'lechem ikan, o korm ikan v'korm ikan, or you can put two beams over the two houses, right? That's a little bit, you know, more obvious because you got these beams going across Wilshire. I'm sure you have to get permission from the city, but, um, okay, lechem ikan o kor, um and actually, Behuda says, yes, and that allows me to carry from one house to the other, because I've rectified it either through the two lechis on one side, on the two sides of any one house, right, or the beam going across from one side to the other on both sides. Amrul, the rabbi, said, nice try, Rabbi Yehuda, but ain't ma'avim rishus rabim bekach. You cannot make a rishus rabim this way. Now, uh, you cannot make a rishus yachid this way. Rishus, Correct. You cannot make a rishus. You cannot make a rishus. Um, yeah. yeah, but a ma'av rishus ram bekach. Right. You can't rectify rishus rabim this way. This is not the way you make an eriv to make it into a rishus yachid from it being a rishus rab. You cannot do that. It will not work. Okay. So what? So what does it sound like though? That. That you start off without a rishus, you start off with, with rishus rabim, and by making two lechis, you now have rishus yachid according to Yehuda. So one lechi lechar will be the third wall, and the four and the and the second lechi will be the the the, the enclosure. So you've got lechira a raya that according to Yehuda a lechi does serve as a mechitza, 
and the Rabbanon only argue just about like how many how many uh, walls you got to you know start off with, but they, they don't seem to argue with the fundamental principle of Alechi being able to be a wall. It, uh, just, they're just arguing that there's just uh, too much to accomplish here because you only got two sides to start with. So, um, so don't you see that Lechi does from this uh, Brisa that Lechi does function as a mechitza? To which the Gemara says, no, nice try, but does not prove anything. Hasim Kasav Rabbi Yehuda Shtei Mechitza is the Raisa. Rabbi Yehuda holds a radical opinion that all you need to make a Rosh Hashanah is two walls. So both Lechis function in the rabbinic realm. You don't need a lechi to get you into the into the rishus yachid and the second lechi just to wrap things up. No, no, both lechis are there only on the on the rabbinic realm. Nothing of the lechi can turn you from rishus um, harabim into rishus yachid. The, the rabbanon will argue and say, no, you need three walls, and therefore you, you haven't you ha- you're not able to get started. But the rabbi position is two walls. Even though it's amazing because you're open from both sides, like how do you call that a rishus yachid? He actually called that a rishus yachid midiraisa since I got uh, two out of the four enclo- uh, four sides enclosed. Okay, so we still have not dislodged Rava's opinion regarding the idea that a lechi cannot serve as a mechitza. Look at Rashi. Um, yes, sir. Okay. Liel mini ayri baboyna ali al gabi batim. Right, so before this case, we talked about making an attic on the two houses, making that overpass of Perico Gagos. That's later on on Saturday. Hey, we'll get to it. Um, he says, I'll, I'll, I'll go you. I'll go you even further. I'll go beyond that, and that is, it was lechem mikan alma. Okay, you have to make a lechem on one side, a lechem on, on the other side, and then that makes it into a rishus yachid. And you can carry from one house to the other. Alma, what do you see from here? Lechi mishum mechitza. That a lechi actually makes a wall. I feel Rabbanon like pliga le'el b'shus rabbim. And the Rabbanon only argue because you're starting off from b'shus rabbim. Ava b'mavi m'fulish loy. But if we be a mavi, right? In other words, if you're not dealing with a b'shus rabbim with his people, will shabulavah, let's see, talking about a back alley, and you put up a... Lechi, that will turn that back alley into a shusiyachin. And that indeed will be uh, exactly what Rava, what Rava didn't say, what, what the Rav Yehuda and what Rabbah said, as opposed to Rava. Uh, to which the Gemara responds, nice try, but that's not the underlying principle of Rav Yehuda. It's nothing to do with Lechi Mishum Mechitza. He happens to hold Shnei Mechitza, Shal Shnei Batal, Nitzadah Lechayim. Um, Valachayim, okay, the other words, Shnei Mechitza shall Shnei Batim, Levad Alachayim. Besides the Lechis, the two Mechits alone will net you the Deraisadika status of Rishus Yachid. Valachayim, the Kamatsar of Yudah, Mishum Hekrib Alma. And the two Lechis that are required are only for the recognition of, of allowing you to carry in there. But you already, the Deraisadika the rules were already. Passed and already uh, fulfilled by the two walls, because Rabbi Yehuda buys into the radical opinion that two walls alone will net you into, will make you into a rishus hayachid. So now all you need is rabbinic rectification. Rabbinic, okay, lech yeah, that's exactly what lechi does. How does it do it? Through a hacker. Who says it has to do it through a mechitza? I maintain it only does it through a hacker, and therefore no proof to anything. Okay. Very good. So we tried, but we could not succeed in dislodging Rava. So right now, as the record stands, okay, we have official Machlokas Hamarayim. They seem to agree about a Korah, right? They seem to agree about a Korah that a Korah is only a Heker, okay? Even though you really could have, this last case, when we say, oh, Korah Mikana, Korah Mikana, the Havamina, we talk, could have dislodged all of them. On the from the big right because the the price that seems to indicate that even a Korah could be a uh, create a a mechitza. But once we once we answered it, we dislodged uh, any any proof from anything about this brisa. But in the Havamina, mean, the truth of the matter is not only are we uh, are we able to prove that a lechi is a mechitza in the Havamina, mean, we we can prove that a Korah is a mechitza because a Korah creates that that third wall. But we uh, ended up saying no, it doesn't prove anything because it. It um, it's about two walls. All you have, all you need is two walls. Two walls make rishus yachid, and that's why according to Rabbi Yehuda, you're good to go. Okay. Back to the Gemara. I'm reviewed on my Rav. Right. I'm reviewed on my Rav. Mavui she'archoi kerechavai ain't need to belechimashu. 
So Rabbi Yudah says name of Rav, getting back to the fundamentals of a difference between a Movi and a Chatzah, which we've already spoken about a number of times. So now we're officially stating it uh, for the record that Rav's opinion is if a Movi is longer than it is wider, okay, um, all you need to matter it is a Lechi Mashu, right? So if it's longer than it is wider, which is a t- typical vision of a alleyway. It's longer going straight ahead. It's longer than it is wider. Then Alechi will cut it for you. Okay? Let's see here. Yeah. Amrav Chia Barashi Amarav Mavi Sha'archa Kurchavoy Aden Niter Bekora Tefach. And another Allah, similarly, just like there's guidelines in allowing Alechi to work, there are guidelines in allowing a Kora of a Tefach to work. Because after all, or that straight beam coming across, which is only a few inches wide, that's also a leniency. We're not going to require something major. That leniency only applies under the same condition that it's longer than it is wider. If it ain't longer than it is wider, then again, this allowance of a kora, right? So the same focus, only two different aspects. Rav Yudah is quoting Rav in one realm, and Rav Barashi is quoting Rav in the other realm. Okay, very good. So Amr of Zera, of Zera now comments, Kama Mukhuvanim Shmaitza de Sabe. How um how uh, direct and focused and proper is this halacha of Rav, the great Rav, to tell us that in order to to use the leniency of a mavu, you have to access an area that's longer than it is wider. Why? Uh, let me tell you the love. This kivan the orchai kurchavai, because if you have a square where the length and the width are the same, have a chatzar. It, that, that goof is the new definition of a chatzar. We thought chatzar has to do with houses opening to it versus an alleyway. It's really way deeper than that. It has to do with it, its construction. Is it more longer than it is wider? Or is it, is, or is it the same or more wider than longer? And even if it's the same, when it comes to chutzer, we know the rules already. By now, we're experts. That for a chutzer, you need a four tefach. If you're going to do it from one in one side, you need four tefach. If you're going, if you're going with um, uh, with two sides, then that's a different story. Okay, so let's just catch up with the Rashi's here. Um, Belechi mashuhu, right? Ela bepas arba kechutzer. If it's not longer than it is wider, then you're going to need a pas arba like a chutzer. You're going to have the same rules as a chutzer. It means you're four tefach wall. Okay, same thing with a kora tefach kishar mavi. Okay, you can't use if it's not longer than wider. You will not be able to use the kora mechanism to validate the mavi. Umar amachad, umar amachad of leipligi. Once focusing on the on the uh, kora, once focusing on the Lechi, but they do not argue. They're not disagreeing. They're just focusing on different aspects. So these are talking about squares. Yeah, a square or or the other way, or even right, right, right. correct. So so he says Kama Mukhuvanim um, Next Rashi the who he's coming to support the statement. Okay, this is a beautiful statement because the minute you get out of the realm of a of a rectangle, okay, you get to the square or, you know, wide or the width, the, the length uh, narrower than the width, okay, um, once you get into that, it becomes a chutzr, okay, and let's see, back to, right, so we finish all the Rashis, um, let's go back to the Gemara, so Amr of Zera, we did that, uh, right, right, the next Amr of Zera, we just did one Amr of Zera, now another Amr Zera, Amr of Zera, Okay, well, I liked what I, what I heard, and I supported what I just heard with a beautiful explanation. I, I'm observing, okay, um, if I have a problem with this, with this little sugi here, this is my problem. Levi, hai lechi, kapas mashu, venishtere. I mean, even if you're talking like, it's like a chotzer, why can't a chotzer be permissible with a lechi, because her, all you need is a pas, all you need is some kind of a wall. Reb Zeru was under the impression that all you need is any wall. The narrowest wall would be good enough. Okay, why can't this lechi be like a pas mashu and that will uh, matter the, the chutzer and make it good to go? To what Yumar says, Reb Zeru, um, you missed something here. Along the way, you missed that four tefach suya. Yishtamid say, hod amr vasi amr yochanon. Apparently what was... Uh, missing in Rabbi Yoch, in Rabbi Zeyra's teaching or learning, I should say, he did not. He was not there for sure that day 
where when they said that when it comes to chutzur, a pas mashu does not cut it. When it comes to chutzur, you need a pas of four tefachim. So one more time, Yishtamit say, Hod Amr Vasi Amr Yochanan, what it, it alluded, Reb Zeira, that which Reb Vasi said in the name of Yochanan, Pasi Chatz Atrichin Sheyehei Ben Arba. You need four Tfachim, and Tosas points out the fact that Reb Zeira himself was quoted earlier that we need four Tfachim means that he, he quoted the halacha after he heard this halacha. Once he got educated about the requirement of Fort Fachim, that's when the quote earlier uh, kicks in. But obviously, at that point, when he now he would never have made that statement, you know, before he heard it right, right here. So it's all an issue of sequence of when 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 things were said. Let's take a look at Rashi. Kama um, Muchavanim. Actually, no Rashi. Okay, fine. Now let's go weiter. Um, Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman says, Naktinon, this is a, uh, something that we've learned and been handed down throughout the years. This is a fundamental halacha. Very often, Naktinon, you see the bays there? That's halacha, and that seems to very often be the way things are definitively settled. So Michael is very happy right now. Um, um Rav Nachman. Naktinon, ezu movi, shnit What's the definition of a movi that can be rectified and allowed to be carried in through the mechanism of a lechi or a kora, kol sh'arka yesar If it's longer than it is wider, then you are a mavi and you're a mavi and you're good to go with either lechi or kora. Ubatim v'chatserim psuch l'tzocho. And requirement number two is that you need houses and a chatser to be open to the mavi. Right? So if it, a, a straight mavi that had nothing accessible to it, that L'chayra, um that's not the definition of a mavi. Okay, I'm not sure what that would uh, require. It sounds like maybe it should be less, but let's let's not go there right now. The point is, if you wanted to find a a mavi which is allowed to be rectified through a lechi or kara, a you need it to be longer than it is wider, and b you need to have bottom v'chatzer p'such and Okay, okay? Uh, um, a chatzer houses sounds like plural, and chatzer rose. And every one of those houses has to have at least two houses and each and at least one chutzah per house. So two houses, two chutzeros, open to the mavi. And what's the definition of a chutzah which does not have that allowance of a lechi or a kora allowance, but requires elopas arba, but requires a four tefach wall, which is of course is a, a lot more of a requirement than a simple kora or a simple lechi. And the answer is kol mishravas. Okay, if it's squared, then then you are a chutzer. Okay, so what? So only squared mirvas in agulolai. What? Only if it's squared, but if it's rectangular, if it's a circular, then you're telling me that it would not fulfill the requirement of a chutzer. What? That would be something different. I mean, what, what, what's that about? I mean, who, why do I dafka need a square? Mar says no. Relax. Hachi komar. What I mean to say is as follows. If it's longer than it is wider, then it would be defined as a mavi, and a mavi will suffice with either a lechi or a kora. Below, but if it's not longer than it is wider, if it's any other configuration, okay? Um, if it's not, if it's not that, means circular, square, rectangular, the other way, it does not matter. It just, it, this is what you need. You don't have that, you're not good to go. The comma. Why do you put a lucky house? It's a. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you definitely could. I mean, you just. It's the circular. Opening. What? Yeah. The opening. It's a pretty cool way to get into it. Yeah, he doesn't give you. He doesn't show you a circular chutz. Uh, okay. Uh, got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, fine. The comma. So. Um, and what? What? How, what do you do to fix it up? So a shmuel lemeimer ad ika pishnayim. So, what's the definition of a chutzur? What gets you into the realm of a chutzur? Uh, Shmuel thought to say that it's got to be double. It's got to be double the length and the the pishlaim um, It's got to be double the width and the length in order to get you to the realm of a chutzur. Okay, it's funny. It's funny. Have a I minute. Mean, it doesn't sound like that's what the statement was. And Amalei Rav, no. Rav says, "Hachi Amal Chavivi, I feel Mashu." Okay, Chavivi, my uncle, um, or Chia, I believe it is, holds that no, even a Mashu more 
will get you to the realm of a chotzer. Let's see Rashi. Bubatim chatzeros. Um, Right and in in order to be defined as a mavu, you need houses and courtyards. Shtei chatzeres psuchos tocho. Okay, you need two courtyards open to the mavu. Ubayis psuach lo kol And here's a controversial Rashi. Rashi is just ubayis psuach lo Just a house, one house alone, open to each chutzer. Shkain ho yudira seim if they call bayis say chutzer because that was the way they structured life back in the good old days. Is you had. Uh, at least one house open to the chutzer, you always had a chutzer in front of your house. So that is is what you need. And most people argue and they say, no, you need two houses open to the chutzer. You're not going to get the the uh, mavui leniency unless you have two houses to each chutzer. Okay? But this Rashi seems to not agree with that. Okay, agul aloi bitmiyah. What? If it's round, then you still maintain the leniency of a mavui? Right, but it only has to be squared. If it's round, it doesn't work. Is no below heavily chutzur. He says no. What we're saying is anything but that. In order to be a, um, in order to be a mavi and get the leniency of a mavi, you got to be more longer than you are wider. Uboy, but if it's not, you're a chutzur. Uboy pass. And now you need a, a real wall. V'haim ruvas lava muti agula. The fact that he said square did not mean to exclude rounded. He was just trying to exclude this, the nature of a mavi where it's longer than it is wider. Okay, so what's the last question that we just did? Vakama e archo yoser. How much longer do you have to be? Uh, this is so the question on the on the Mavi part. Is, how much longer does a Mavi have to be than a um, than wider in order to classify as a Mavi? That makes okay. That makes uh, makes much more makes much more glad much more much more smoother. Vakama e archo yoser. How much longer does it have to be? Dinafkli mi din chutzur umishtari belechimashu. Right, so give me the. So we're not asking for the definition of a chutzur. At this point, we're asking for the definition of a mavi because a mavi is a leniency. How, how do you have to? How much you have to be longer than wider to get this leniency? And the original statement was double. Okay, which is a chumra. You need to be double. If you're not double longer than you are wider, you don't get that leniency. And the other one says no. Ad the ikka pishnaim. You gotta um, right. So the first one says you gotta be double. However, chutzur ha'isal inafke medina ad ikka pishnaim since. Uh, it was a chutzur. In order to get it out of the realm of being a chutzur, you, you, it does not get out of the realm until it's double. And Chavivi says no. Rabbi Chia Shu Achi Aviv. Rabbi Chia was the brother of Rav's father, the Imoi Shel Rav, and the mother of Rav. Um, what? Rabbi Chavivi Shu Achi Aviv. Achi Aviv the Imoi Shel Rav. Shu Achi Aviv. I'm not sure what that means, Vimish Rav. Who was the mother of Rav? Um, his wife was the mother of Rav. Um, Shuache, Aviv, Vimo Shorav. Okay, you can't be the brother of both, the mother and the father. Really? Yeah, That's kind of, I mean, maybe, yeah. I mean, we're back to Yavamis now. Okay, so um, maybe. Okay, I guess you technically could be a brother of both. Because the, the two, the husband and wife didn't share a common parent. And he shared a common parent from, from the other two. It's possible, okay. Uh, right back in Tivam is, anyway, either way, it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, it, whatever, it matters because Ra- Rashi tells us. But the point is that uh, Rav Chia says, no, all you need is to have the slightest amount longer than it is wider. You're good to go as a movi. And the minute you don't have that means it's squared, you become a chutzer, and you need a higher level of a pas arba.